So earlier today, WWE has officially announced their first ever German premium live event for August 2024 at the Mercedes Benz Stadium. The name of the event is called Berlin, uh, the bash in Berlin. And I can read off a little bit of the press release. WWE, part of the TKO Group Holdings, today announced that Bash in Berlin, the first ever major WWE premium live event to be held in Germany, will emanate from the Mercedes-Benz Arena in Berlin, Germany on Saturday, August 31st, 2024. So far, that is the only details that we have gotten. That press release you can find on the corporate uh, section of the WWE website. I mean, obviously, it's I think it's too early to kind of figure out what what can happen right because it's october this is going to happen in august obviously next summer but i just kind of wanted to get your take of how big this is for germany and do you have any early predictions as far as like what we can possibly see at this uh at this uh at bash in berlin if you will yeah it's a lot of bees bro that's a Uh lot Um, well, first off, I find it kind of cool that between last year and this year, both AEW and WWE are trying to like take over Europe. It gets, mm-hmm. It's cool. Like, I don't know why it took till now, but I think it's pretty cool that like they're like giving back to their fan base mm-hmm. um, and capitalizing from being over there. So I think it's pretty awesome. It makes me wonder like where else in um Europe, they're going to go afterwards. Like, we're going to see something like in Spain or Italy or something like that. Like, I feel like there's so much to play with, especially with the themes. Um, you definitely could do better than Bash in Berlin because I just don't like that name. <laughs> um, however, I don't, I don't quite know what I would expect out of it because, like, in my head, like when I thought about how they booked like uh, Clash at the Castle, and that's so many C's. That's their thing, I guess. They just like alliterations. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, no, like, you know how, like, they, they spearheaded that with, like, Drew McIntyre? Because it's like, mm-hmm. oh, like, you know, he's a he's a Europe native. I wonder who would, they would use to represent um, Bash in Berlin. Like, I guess that's, like, my next question. Like, where they go with, I mean, who, who, who's German that we have in the WWE? Do we do we have, like, someone that's on the main roster that's German that you oh, can yes, use off the top of your head? That's we, oh, yes, I do. Gunter. Oh, shit, yeah. Gunter. Are they all German or just Gunter? They're not, they're not all German. Well, first of all, let me look up to see if Gunter is actually German. But continue with your point. No, no, I actually want to hear why you would, why you would want to choose him. My, my apologies. He is Austrian. He is from Vienna, <laughs> Austria. That is my bad. I think Ludwig so Kaiser. <laughs> Ludwig Kaiser is from Germany. Um, yeah. but, but yeah, keep going. What were you going to say? No, it's just that like, that's how they chose to lead it last year. They wanted to go with someone that, I mean, it's essentially from the continent of Europe. So right. I feel like like that's what they're going to lead with. But, can, but are they actually going to like, let the person that came from Europe win? Because last year we like put all our eggs in one basket with Drew and then it was just, like such a letdown. Um, mm. although like you just said, Gunther is not. Um, I think you could still do something with him since he's on like this really good streak. Um, mm-hmm. they're like building him to feel important. And that's like a nice way I feel like that you could, even though I feel like he's doing really well and being established, it's just like, if you want to like kind of isolate him and take him out of like the mid car range, I think it's like pretty big to like mm-hmm. kind of build the pay-per-view around him a bit and kind of mush, um, uh, move him over to like the heavyweights. In my personal opinion, I think that would be a, an interesting way to book it. Um, but I don't know. Like, what way would you choose to book it if you were WWE? Man, I, even though uh, Gunter isn't necessarily German, um, this is someone who made his name in Germany through the, the promotion WXW. Germany is a very, very big hub for European wrestling, just like London is. And while Imperium has members from kind of every, or I shouldn't say every, but different parts of Europe, I think Imperium has solidified themselves as the the European stable, kind of like how we saw the the Heart Foundation kind of be like Canada's stable uh, back in the 90s and the 80s. Um, I think that's what kind of Imperium means to not just Germany, but all of Europe. 
Um, and so I can definitely see Gunter playing a very, 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 very big role. I can even go on record and predict that I feel like if they're bringing this event to Germany in August of 2024, um, who's to say that Gunter can't be main eventing and going for the World Heavyweight Championship? I feel like it's more than doable. I think it's more than possible. He's already kind of heading in that direction because he's the currently the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. And by that time, I think that he'll probably be making his way and, and trying to make his impact felt in that kind of World Heavyweight title picture. So I definitely see Gunter playing a very, very big role. As it pertains to just kind of the significance of the event, I, I just feel like WWE is con continuing its streak of of solidifying themselves as an international company. I mean, like in the past, what, 18 months, every time they've gone international, they've broken records, whether that be Puerto Rico, Clash at the Castle, um, you know, obviously Saudi Arabia. And uh, I think they're just kind of continuing moving forward, money in the bank, like they're continuing moving forward with just solidifying themselves and taking advantage of the fact that they have a, 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 a worldwide fan base and just the ability to kind of create these memorable moments and, and shows all around the globe. And now that, you know, we know that essentially there's going to be another kind of SummerSlam because August 31st isn't too far away from where SummerSlam is. They're going to essentially have two SummerSlams in one month which is nuts when you think about it. Two stadium shows in one month is, is insane. But I think it's great. I think that it's great that Germany is getting a, a, a big four type of show. And I'm very, very eager to kind of see where they go next. But I want to know how everybody else feels about this, about the bash at Berlin happening in Germany, August 31st, 2024. Uh, let us know in the comments below how you feel about WWE taking over Berlin.